We can only identify an assumption when we really understand an argument, so let's make sure that we do. There seem to be a lot more people with PTSD symptoms in Virginia than there were five years ago. The conclusion made here is that either Virginia is more violent and chaotic, or people are somehow more sensitive to violence and chaos than they were five years ago. An assumption in this case could be the fact that an alternative in this an alternative explanation is not true. Because, after all, if an alternative were true, this explanation wouldn't really make sense. Let's see if we can find something like this in our answers that says that an alternative is not possible. A might sound tangentially related. If there were more psychiatric practices, then maybe more people would be seeking treatment. That could be an alternative explanation. But this is all still kind of speculative, and it's a bit of a stretch. We're reading a lot into this. Let's see if we can find a clearer, more direct answer. As for B, we should always be careful when the GMAT brings in other things and other people because they're usually not relevant. In this case, whether these people have other psychiatric disorders doesn't relate to this question's explanation of why there seem to be more people with PTSD. Now we look at C, and okay, here we have the invalidation of an alternative explanation. It's pretty clear. If individuals with PTSD were just now more likely to seek treatment, then of course there would be more people who seem to have PTSD. And all this stuff about the inherent qualities of Virginia or its residents would just not be true. So the idea that this alternative isn't true is definitely an assumption. C looks really good, but we can skim our other two answers. Virginia not being violent and chaotic is definitely not an assumption of an argument that says Virginia is violent and chaotic. And E is pretty similar to D, so we can eliminate it too. In the end, C is our best answer.